And that Can't was... Wait. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to the Drunk Dark Crackcast. I'm Ozan Ocean and with me is Mr. Baines. Hello, Mr. Baines. <coughs> Hello. <laughs> Lovely expectoration there. Uh, we have uh, Mrs. Tansarine, or Ms. Tansarine, I should say. Hello. Dr. Tansarine. Oh, I'm, I'm not married to people. <laughs> You're not married to me yet, Tars. You'll accept my proposal <laughs> one of these days. <laughs> <laughs> Wait and pay. <laughs> and of course, my second wife, Pitface. Hello. What up? <laughs> so we're going to be talking about jerky, jerky jerks, who are also protagonist sort of characters. So, what what is it, Baines? This sort of um, main characters, but jerks, heroes. Not even really jerks, but I was trying to talk about like sort of villain protagonists, where there's not really like the other characters in the story are not worse, you know. So you have your jerk, jerk protagonists who have antagonists who are even worse, ah. and then you have your like villain protagonists who are, mm. you know, you, you're being asked to kind of be on the side of the villain. Yeah. And uh, it came from picking up the Reggie comic, like all the Archie has been re-released in the past year or whatever. And uh, the Reggie one was the best one by far. Like the rest of them are all kind of like, yeah, like, yeah. But this one, like, I really liked. Um, and he's kind of the villain. Like he's the, you know, the villain of Riverdale, <laughs> you know. Yeah. So yeah. it's kind of like weird. I was like, wow, like this one's better. Maybe it's just better written, and there are other reasons why it's better, not just because he's a villain. But um, I don't know. So yeah, that was the initial idea, like sort of hateable characters, and uh, we can also talk about other hateable characters. You know, sort of char- like jerk protag- jerk protagonists, and then characters that are meant to be likable, but people hate them they, they fail yeah they, exactly they just fail like the, <laughs> the, the scrappy so, dudes of the universe exactly the exactly scrappy i was gonna talk about <laughs> part two or three i'm gonna talk about scrappy and the scrappy types right. who are supposed to be right. great the poochie types it's supposed to be great but they're, they're you know hated <laughs> before we get into that i'll have to introduce the featured comic which is uh Kwai gave us the feature this week and it was unfruity, <laughs> unfruity and nonchalant. It's a, it's a cute little comic. So take it away, Kawai de Gakusei. Hello, this is Kawai de Gakusei, and my feature this week is Unfruity and Nonchalant by M. Perella, and it is rated E for everyone. Unfruity and Nonchalant is the product you would get if you mixed a Keith Haring painting in a bowl with absolute cuteness. The simple style tells a quick story in one, two, three, or four panels while only using a single color. Now that is talent. The text dialogue is down to a minimum, so it is up to the reader to make sense of the story in their head. Whether it is a muffin top growing legs and walking away, or an ice cream cone doing the same. This is a comic that will allow you to take a break from a long week, and trust me, you will be glad you did. The art is drawn digitally, and it makes great use of monochromatic color choices. Read Unfruity and Nonchalant by M. Perella. And that was the feature. Thank you very much for talking about that, Kawhi. And it was a great choice, too. Cute and marvelous looking. All right, now the featured music that Mr. Gum Wallace has given us. This will be a big surprise to people, I hope. Um, I loved it. Great sound. Um... Let me just describe it before I say what comic it's from. This is riff-based hard rock with a driving beat. It's heavy, distorted guitars layered over and over with a thunderous yet lyrical lead floating over the top. I would describe it as orange and black sound. And this is the theme to The Epic of Blitzov. So... Ah! It's Wait, really what? Awesome. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, cool. Ha! 
Is it bad that my first thought was like, did somebody else make a comic call that? <laughs> like I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's so humble. Look at her. <laughs> Kill that motherfucker. <laughs> You'll love the sound too. It is so cool. Oh, how he nice. Yeah, did himself. It's really heavy kind of sound, but still lyrical. So oh. it's 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 good. You'll have to do lyrics for it. Cool. <laughs> like da 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 da. <laughs> so take it away, <laughs> Mr. Gumball. theme to Epic of Blitzov. It is an epic tune. Thank you for that Gum Wallace. Um, Thank you! (laughs) Alright, so we're talking about the the Jerky Boys. No, no, not the Jerky Boys. (laughs) The Jerks. (laughs) Yes, hi. Hello? (laughs) Oh, God. Please help me. Uh, If anyone gets that reference... We'll You're you old. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, all right. So Reggie and me. I like the title. It reminds me of um, uh, what is it? Someone and me, the uh, Michael Moore movie that made him famous. Roger. Oh and yeah, me. Roger and me. That's, yeah, 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 yeah. So you based your whole thing what? on Roger and me, didn't you? <laughs> my whole, like my whole life. You mean? Or? Yeah, yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah, sort of. <laughs> no, of course not. Uh, I was looking for something. <laughs> so, hated villains. I love hate. Uh, well, the hated, not hated villains. The hated um, jerky kind of main characters are great. I love them. Um, classic examples for me are, of course, um, Blackadder and Flashman, which are two classic British characters. Blackadder being. Yeah. Uh, uh, a jerk, a dick, but still lovable anyway. And Flashman, being by a character by the famous writer George MacDonald, who is a um, a fellow who who strides throughout British colonial history, and is a uh, tries to womanize and be a jerk and do all the bad things, but turns out a hero in spite of himself. So, classic jerks. So Baines. <laughs> What what are your uh, I do jerks? choose. <laughs> well, <laughs> your your most classic jerks. I'm not talking about <laughs> masturbation here either. So get those thoughts okay, out. Okay, I was trying mind. to think of. I, okay, yes. Away from that. Um, yeah, there are lots of them, man. They tend to be a lot more interesting. You know, I love uh, Ash in Army of Darkness, Evil oh, Dead. Of course. Yeah. yeah. And uh, Jack Burton, Big Trouble in Little China, who's a fairly similar kind of guy. Um, George Costanza, I thought, was maybe the best character. Agreed. In in all of TV. Uh, And Larry David, who's the same kind of character, the fictional version of Larry David. Uh, Those would be the top, is that, what's that, top three? Gary Shandling. um... Gary Shandling was great, the narcissistic, selfish version of him on the Larry Sanders show. Larry Sanders, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh... Jerks. Lots of others, man. Every single character in It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> uh, I liked Reggie, but I, I like in when I back when I read Archie comics regularly. Like I, I liked Reggie, 
but I liked him more when he had a good a moment of good. So it's kind of he was such a villain most of the time. Like it was always cool to me when he was like he was also a friend of theirs. So I enjoyed that more more than the jerkitude. The jerkitude. <laughs> well, it, it's an enormously successful thing to have a jerk redeem himself. So it, it means yes. a lot more yeah. than a good character redeeming themselves because they're coming down yes. from quite a big level. Uh, also, uh, what is it, Veronica? She's a bit of a jerk as well. She's the se- yeah. She's very similar. Yeah, she's more villainous, but I don't know what the difference would be. Is there a difference? Yeah, she's. If Reggie's not around, she's the villain. Like often, she would play the part of the horrible person <laughs> <laughs> and I liked I liked her too she's one of my favorite characters of course yeah you're either yeah. a Betty or a Veronica person so you know <laughs> it's true as they say I had a big debate over my friend who's, an, who's like as old as me or older so it was so funny to us that we had this conversation but uh, or it was funny to him I have this conversation every week with you guys <laughs> I, I pretended it was unusual for me too, but uh, I'm like I think about this every day. Like, why are we laughing? But um, uh, yeah, I'm definitely a Veronica, a Veronica fan. Right with you there. Yeah, yeah, yeah? you too. Of course, yeah. The nasty brunette. Who doesn't love that? <laughs> mean, mean girls. <laughs> Uh, Pit and Tez, you must have those debates too all the time, right? Not me? Literally, what debate? Not literally about Betty and Veronica, but about, I don't know, Lancelot or Arthur? A girl <laughs> told, me, told me that once. <laughs> is that what the kids know. are talking about these days? <laughs> it is, yeah. It's, it's visit, still on, uh, visit any high school and, and you'll, that's what you'll hear. They're still on Achilles or Paris, I think, something like that. I I think you're. You must be right. Yeah. How 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 did you get? How did you guess? <laughs> you <got her> fingers. <laughs> fingers all over the pulse, man. <laughs> but you must like the bad guy, like the nice boy or the bad boy. That must be a sort of regular, um. But lady you know, it's a bit weird over here. Like you do have the stereotype, like uh, you know the girl, but like the bad boys. But I am. Um, I've been silent all this time. I've been racking my brains to to just. Uh, have a find a character that would fit this description in uh, you know Greek pop culture and everything, and I can't seriously find anyone. Like you have Aries, like, you have uh, um, like Aries, <laughs> distant <laughs> pop culture. <laughs> oh, that's super distant, and he was never actually like he was. He was the douchebag, and he was like the jock that wasn't right. too clever. Everyone could uh, actually, you know, set a trap for him to fall in. My, he wasn't really very prestigious. <laughs> okay. So, um, I don't know about that. Uh, like, I don't think we, we have, per se, I mean, we like, like, Blackadder is really huge over here. I what mean, is? everyone really likes Blackadder. Blackadder. Blackadder, okay, yeah. Yes. Uh, and, um, like, and uh, also Breaking Bad... Oh, yeah. He's really huge, and um, um, what else? Sons of Anarchy. Maybe I haven't seen it though, so I don't really know if it has characters that are like that. Um, of course, uh, there is Game of Thrones, but the identification uh, is not with the with the uh, evil characters. It's with the ones that are evil, but they are portrayed. No, they're not even really, they are like uh, better than the rest of this. So okay, um, okay. so I don't know. I mean the, the most uh, representative would be would be like over here like being very popular and being a, a bad character and everything would be black other, I think. At least the yeah. The younger kids they are more after the the character that that succeeds, whatever that is, um, yeah. but succeeds without being branded the bad guy, because that over here in Greek culture, it's it's actually a failure. If you succeed, but you also have the smear of being a, a, a bad person, you actually have failed. Yeah. Like if you are a bad person, you, sh- <laughs> you shouldn't be caught, <laughs> which is more of a Spartan approach to the to things. But um, yeah. 
<laughs> so it's not really that really take off over here. <laughs> right. I That's, guess that goes back so, to the, the thing from last week about cultural differences. There we are. Mm-hmm. Which is interesting. Yeah, yeah you should you should have a good it. person. <laughs> How did you guys like my okay. my cover picture of you, by the way? <laughs> hmm? Did me what? The the cover picture of you guys from last week was um on the, I the like it, Yes, yeah, I remember it. <laughs> Tance's boy George and um and Pitt looking like she smelled a fart. <laughs> yeah, man, you picked a weird face. That's okay though. <laughs> I was going through I the that a lot. pictures I had and I just thought, oh, I can't be stuffed looking anymore. I'll just pick this one. To <laughs> <laughs> the right <laughs> angles. <laughs> uh, that was perfect. So, yeah, cultural difference. What about you, Pip? What What are your bad boy characters that you go for? Oh, man. Oh, I like a lot of different ones. I'm kind of trying to steer away from the anti-hero discussion because we've had that before. Yeah. But like, yeah. um, like one of the the big things centering on jerks. The, one of the first thing that comes to my mind because it's kind of hard for me to like make a list. You guys have said a lot of great ones already, but if, have you guys ever seen the show Misfits? No. no. It's about the uh, I forget where it takes place. It's like it's Scotland or something. I don't know where it is, but um, All right, the heroes. It's, everybody's got it. Yeah, so they all get superpowers, yeah, but um, yeah, they 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 all are these kind of delinquent kids. Like they're they're part of a what do you call that? A um, my brain isn't firing right now. Again? Where you have to like do public ser- uh, community service. They're oh, part of yeah. community oh. service, and so they're assholes. Like they've got these superpowers, but they're all like every single one of them is legitimately an asshole. And that's what makes the whole show fun is that they're they're all jerks, but they've got these powers and they keep on getting themselves in these situations. Anyway, watch it. I think you'd like it, especially Oz, um, from what I remember of it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I've seen a bit of it. Sweet. Yeah. Uh, it's it's an interesting thing. They suddenly get um get these these powers and they don't know what to do with them and and all that kind of stuff. It's sort of based on the American um, TV series Heroes, I think. Was it? See, I never watched that. Yeah. Well, there was also a series way back, I think, called Misfits of Science. That I don't <laughs> that remember was, it very well. That was awesome. Well, was that the same idea? No. Yeah. No, not at all. No, it wasn't? Oh, okay. Never mind. Just similar title, that's all. Misfits of Science, if I remember, was about a bunch of heroes as well getting weird powers. So a similar yes. thing, but they already had powers. And they were just weird ones, like this guy could grow this basketball player could grow to enormous size and, or shrink or shrink yeah and this yes, rock star that, could electrocute yeah. people with his his super electricity powers because he could charge himself up it was cool but it only lasted like 10 episodes or something right and they weren't community service like no. sort of lovable jerks or whatever yeah well, they, I, ah, I thought ridiculous. of another one yep <laughs> Biff Tannen from Back to the Future. Ah, oh, yes, he's oh, a lovable I though. Yeah, I kind of do in a sense, I do, a little bit. And are we strictly talking about lovable jerks? Because before no, we we're not. Test, we were saying yeah, okay, yeah. Well, he's an iconic he, jerk. He is, and he was a protagonist. For, if you take like little sections of that series, right? There's part of it, especially the second one that followed Biff's like mission and like the old Biff comes oh. back and the new guy blah 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 oh, he yeah. had a lot of great like great <laughs> moments in the second one where you're kind of he's the point of view character and uh, yeah I agree though it's not about lovable jerks it's about, it's about jerks I, I it's find about villains. One, yeah. I find one that I like personally and he is he, he is a jerk and he he has he has done a lot of things that are objectively uh, wrong and unpardonably in my book, but he he is super fun to watch, and and it's um in the show. I don't know. You probably haven't seen it. It's uh, the show Shoots, um, which Heard is about, about a lawyer firm. And this guy, his name is Louis, and he's uh, he's like a Harvard 
kick ass lawyer theoretically but compared to the other guys he he is like the he's slightly lesser like he he does a lot of things that are idiot moves because he tries to he try he he has petty instincts so these mm. these things make him do certain uh you know jackass moves and <laughs> and uh, he ends up often uh, over his own machinations and stuff oh, he's not he's not an idiot he he has some pretty shining moments in of genius but then he because he's uh, he has his own uh, complexes and problems and everything he usually boycotts his own self and then um, and and that is is super fun to watch and and his antics are very fun to watch because he emotes a lot and and although you know that he's a jerk and uh, you wouldn't want to have him in your vicinity basically uh but he 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 makes for great entertainment so okay yeah that guy nice remember that mm-hmm. one. that sounds pretty good um what's the other one yeah everyone has has uh, different levels of of uh, being a jerk and uh, like you don't ha- find anyone that is uh, you know the pure hero in that in that show <laughs> uh, unless uh, you move to the final season where everyone gets you know categorized in you know, villains and and heroes but up until then um you get you get basically sc- scrupulous lawyers doing their thing so Yeah. <laughs> it's just who who you like best and there are two the one is Louis and the other one is um um Mrs. Lockhart who is uh, the head of the firm and she she is a cutthroat bitch if uh, I might borrow from another uh <laughs> Jackass home house so she okay. she is super fun to watch Well. So, yeah. Suits. Oh, yeah. I'll check that one out. It reminds me of this great uh, Canadian TV series about lawyers. I can't remember what it was called. It was fantastic. Um a, a law firm and they're all uh these Canadian lawyers together in in this uh is a big law firm and it's just about these these younger characters and because they're so young they have to move up within in the hierarchy and they get all the bad stuff you know they have to go and get all the bad cases and everything like that and they're always fighting against, amongst each other for for petty things like the best seat in the office you know because, <laughs> or, or, or a better cubicle yeah. or something like that and the, the bottom feeders basically but there's a One of them's like a super handsome tall guy and the other guy's this this short little fellow and um the tall guy's a bit of a jerk and all this but it it's a great dynamic and I would say definitely check it out but I've no idea what it's I, called but <laughs> a Canadian show I'm about not. lawyers it's probably called lawyers <laughs> probably <laughs> lawyers sorry <laughs> a boot lawyers maybe i don't know a boot a boot lawyers <laughs> <laughs> you know so so kind of off the lawyer track a little bit um i i just realized a show that that has quite a few jerks in it but when i think about it there's one or two jerks that i actually like in the show and there's one that i don't like although they're all made to be likable to an extent So, um think about Cheers, if you guys remember that old show. Oh yeah. yeah. So Sam Malone is a jerk. And he's a jerk that I don't like. He's not a jerk jerk, but he's kind of he's got this egotistical attitude and stuff and with some characters that works. But for him, for me personally, it doesn't really because there's not really anything else that's that interesting about him. Right? Mm. He's just kind of an asshole. While I look at Kelsey Grammer's character, I forget his name. Frazier. He's not like a jerk jerk. Yeah, Fraser. He's not a jerk jerk either, but he can be also kind of high and mighty or, you know, just kind of patronizing. But I like him a lot more. Yeah, patronizing, but I like him a lot more and I like Rita more, but I don't like Sam. <laughs> so like uh, I think of that kind of 
stuff too. Like from the same show that has jerks, there's different jerks that you might like and you might not like. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It's interesting that like the star of the show, like the main guy, you're you're kind of meant to be on his side on Cheers pretty much always, right? So it's that interesting that you don't like him. I think that happens a lot. Like the he- the hero who's supposed to be, you're supposed to forgive their faults. It's like sometimes they're they're just just so annoying. Because, like, maybe yeah. it's, like, I don't know what it is. Like, the expectation that you're supposed to be with them, and then you're like, no, I'm not. <laughs> 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 and then think about, too, how much, I don't know if I'd say how much, but I, I would say that, would you say Frasier as a show was more successful than Cheers? I mean. Uh, Cheers was massive. Frasier was massive, too. They are both huge. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, it's kind of hard to... Because I was going to think then, too, because one ended up getting his own show. And so, never mind. I was going to go off on another tangent, but there's no room for it. <laughs> I loved him on Cheers, though. I love that character on Cheers, too, Frazier. The, the, so the fact that the character got uh, his own successful show, I think that says a lot. Mm. Well, yeah, it does. does but one the other. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah, I agree. But I was going to... Yeah, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was. It was. Uh, uh, I was yeah. going to compare the success of one jerk versus another jerk, but I couldn't. Uh. Right. Well, they're very different <laughs> kinds of jerks, right? Like Frazier is pompous. He's like full of himself. He thinks he's better than everybody else. He's um, like got his head up his butt and stuff like that. He looks down, but yeah, he's st- somehow he's an enjoyable. But he's also yeah. He's character. still charming in a way. He's still charismatic yeah. in a way. While yeah, Sam is. is just kind of like a asshole womanizer like sometimes he'll get some laughs but he's just kind of like you don't see yeah. where like with Fraser, you see and this is maybe some kind of point that can be made from all this rambling from Fraser, you can kind of see you can forgive the egotistic attitude like you can kind of see where it comes from and there's other aspects to the character with when with some with someone like sam you only really have that kind of single dimension and there's nothing else that's really compelling about him. Yeah, he's right. a bimbo basically. Mm-hmm. Yeah, himbo. He's Yeah. 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 And they made the him like that character was like an ex alcoholic or whatever, but they never really use that on the show, like hardly ever, I don't think. Yeah, and like why not? Like he he owns a bar, like what? Yeah. What were you gonna do something with that? Like <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They kind of never really did. Yeah. That's the kind of maybe heavy subject matter for yep. that show or something. That's why they did. Exactly. We, there's a lot of stuff I in think, there. Go on. Yeah. Yeah. I I was uh, I wanted to just uh, add to what uh, did they said that in, in order to make a a villain or or a jerk. Uh, likable or relatable, I think that the, the main, the key thing is to to make sure that they will have some common ground with the audience, like relate, make them relatable on, on their motivations yes. or on the reason that they are reacting the way they are reacting. Yeah. Because well, um, yeah. although you might not approve or you might know that it is wrong, it's sort of like a... a a cathartic thing to see someone do what you have an edge doing and you wouldn't actually do but you want to see it or you understand it at least why it's being done well say in Cheers because oh yeah. go on oh, I was just going to say in no, Cheers no. a character that would fall into that I don't know did you mention this before um, uh, oh god but Rita Perlman's character of course is super oh, yeah now. Rita was her name wasn't it was it yeah okay yeah Rita Rhea Perlman's character? Yeah. I, th- I might be wrong. Jerk. Yeah. I'm not sure. Huge, and Norma, Norma was a bit of one. But yeah, Rhea Perlman's character was such a horrible oh, person. Oh, big time. Yeah, she Just was super saying of jerks, man. Like, <laughs> everything. Like, sometimes every now and then she does kind of get on my nerves. Like, all right, dude, just like back off a little bit. But she still makes me laugh. But what were you going to say? I'm sorry. No, that was it. I mean, I, I, oh, I think... Sorry. Of uh, <laughs> hyena hell working in, in a coffee shop, and I think yeah, she's basically yeah. Oh, she, that's what she Dude, was doing. <laughs> right on. <laughs> that's uh, uh, right down to the fro, man. <laughs> <laughs> 
I was going to say, um, I'm dressed up in my Zayford Bibblebrox outfit. I finally finished it. And Zayford Bibblebrox is, of course, the jerk of the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy World. He was yeah. introduced. Yeah. You look just like him, dude. Oh, thank yeah, you. Yeah, you do, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I think you found your soul animal. I have, I have. <laughs> uh, so he, he was introduced in that, that whole uh, comedy world, the radio series initially, to be the jerk who was hated by uh, Arthur Arthur Dent, I think, is the main character. Yeah. Because he stole Trillian away by, you know, coming on and being charming and lying and bullshitting. And uh, and that's, of course, there's nothing jerkier than that, <laughs> than a guy stealing <laughs> someone's girl away. But he didn't, <laughs> yeah. He didn't do it in a manipulative way, though, did he? He did, yeah. Been so long. oh did he okay that's, that's the whole point and <laughs> yeah, then you're right yeah and Arthur always <laughs> yeah. hated him for that just a massive jerk and would see you the impotent frustration of that <laughs> <laughs> oh, why did he do this oh. so yeah that that's that's an example of um, a likable kind of jerk character because you you can't right. help but but like him for his um his easygoing manner and everything he says is sort of you know dickish but you still like him anyway because yeah he's a survivor man with his towel well, we all like a good dick <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah because for, for example if you like if you take someone like uh, like uh, Jeffrey from Game of Game of Thrones. Yeah. Uh, there's no way that you can actually like that villain because they don't. He he doesn't have any uh, not redeeming, but actually not even. I mean, nobody reacts the way he reacts. He is always a jerk in everything. Like there is no stimulus where you can actually see him be be a human being, and not wow. an, an uh, uh, yes. <laughs> And not an absolute uh, blip, whatever that <laughs> would be, you know. <laughs> so, so, um, uh, so when you have, and and I think that also can go for uh, for those hated characters that are supposed to be uh, actually identified with, and everybody ends up hating, like the Scrappy. You still mm-hmm. hate them for the same reason. They they hit on nerves that yes. Uh, yes. deny deny all sort of clemency on this character. Deny <laughs> no. I love your phrasing, Tom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, thank you. So, like characters that are supposed to be the moral authority are supposed to be right, and then people end up hating them. That's another like the scrappy thing, like you said. Yeah. Um, yeah. Jar Jar Banks. Jar Jar Banks. Oh, oh Sky, my God. Yeah. Like, um, he's Skyler on Breaking jerk, Bad. though. I, I wouldn't even say he. <laughs> Not a jerk, but people himself. you're supposed to like that. So, our, all right. So, I think we're kind of messed up on what our bounds are, what we're talking about here on sure. this podcast. So, are we simply sticking to jerks, or are we also talking about people who you're supposed to like but don't? So, like, what is it? Are we focusing on jerks? Or focusing on likability versus non-likability. What are we doing? We could do both. It doesn't matter. Veins goes either way. Okay. That's... <laughs> yeah, <sorry. laughs> yeah, exactly. He's known for it. <laughs> it's 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 valid either way. Like people who are are loved in the universe of the show, like Jar Jar Banks or Scrappy, but who audiences can't stand. That's valid. So so they they can be jerks to the like this is breaking the fourth wall they can be jerks to the audience (laughs) yeah hateable hateable character (laughs) that's an interesting one like Jar Jar Binks is a good one right he was supposed to be I mean like ill considered like who ever thought well we know who thought he would be an adorable lovable character (laughs) but didn't really pan out very Mm scrappy-ish you know same kind of deal yeah 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 it's it's a guy with, with the head of a, like a snail, a moose, and a like a bloodhound, and wearing flares with gigantic feet. <laughs> How is that even a good design for a character? It's a, a racist <laughs> caricature of a voice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Horrible. 
Oh. Uh, I thought of, though, um, Skyler from Breaking Bad, Walter's wife. Apparently, like, massively hated character. Mm-hmm. Like, everyone hated her. And he's the, you know, he's the drug dealer. He lied to everyone. He put all their lives in danger and, and, and so on and so on. But, like, apparently she was, like, the one everyone hated. <laughs> it's kind of <laughs> funny. Yeah. But it has something to do with her, like, I don't know what it has to do with. Maybe it's different a different something for everybody, but uh, she was kind of, she held, seemed to hold all the power in the relationship, I thought. She kind of had it over Walt in the beginning when things were normal. Yeah. Like, I, I kind of didn't like her in the beginning. She seemed like like a super unsympathetic, I mean, in, in both senses of the word, like she didn't feel sympathy or empathy for Walt, really, even before she knew what he was up to. And um, kind of, and he was the same, but you're kind of, he's the protagonist, so you're kind of on his side. And uh, he's interesting. She wasn't really interesting. Hmm. And, uh, uh, sympathy for her either then, just kind of... Uh, I did later, when he became worse. Yeah. I did. It was in the beginning that I, I was like, ugh, I didn't like her, really. I liked her sister better, who was like a a uh, klepto... I was going to say pedophile. <laughs> I don't know oh, why. Jesus. But she was... Uh, <laughs> That would have made her unlevel. Kleptomaniac. Always get those two mixed up. She was like, a, like full of herself. Kleptomaniac, like kind of narcissistic. Like she was. I liked her more. She was more interesting. But uh, okay, I, I thought this would send us in a new direction. I apparently I killed the whole vibe. Sorry. Well, see, so I think that we're we've compiled some lists here. We have. Like, what do we want to say about our lists? Of characters. Oh, I just killed the whole You're thing, getting... man! Oh no, it was, uh, it. it was already, it was already dead. Don't I'm, worry, I'm I did thinking it. about it. What what you guys have said? Okay, so lists of characters. You, we've brought up a couple of different things. Okay, so characters that the audience thinks are jerky and hateable. Um, characters that are are meant to be jerks, but are also lovable in some way. You know, they're redeemable jerks. Um, so the audience favorites. Uh, you were talking about authoritarian characters who uh, who were on the side of right. So that's Skylar kind of character who are yeah. but sort of hateable or jerky because they're nagging. You know, like maybe um, uh, Marge in The Simpsons in the first few seasons, she was like that. Also Lisa, uh, hateable right. kind of characters and yeah. non-relatable because of that. And they were changed to become, you know, fallible to be more likable because no one likes someone who's right all the time <laughs> so there's those kind of characters uh, characters Why made no <laughs> Go ahead. characters made to be likable um, who there's too much effort into them uh, Sam Malone from uh, Cheers uh, Scrappy uh, Jar Jar Binks uh, those kind of characters so who are yeah, hated by the audience so yeah what what other ones can we add to that? Oh, I thought of one. Um, this is back in the more of the the kitty show realm, but um, I don't know if this is the right person. Was Hannah Montana the blonde one? Like yeah. I remember, there was a show with two girls, and one had darker hair and one had lighter hair. And this kid that I used to babysit yeah. used to watch it. And that blonde chick just annoyed the fuck out of me all the time because she was like, she was supposed to be super sassy, but like she was just kind of like, just like you wanted somebody to repeal like, like the child, like abuse law just in her case, just so you can walk (laughs) up and just smack her in the fucking face. Because the thing is, that's really mean, but like she wasn't written funny like she was supposed to be funny but like uh, it just seemed like stupid time wasting tripe I don't know I don't know I was just thinking about that from back in back in the day which makes me think of another character from uh from the cartoons Johnny Test that one show you guys probably never watched any of this stuff because you don't I've seen know Johnny any Test. young children <laughs> but um uh I've seen Johnny He's Test. He's annoying. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he is. That whole show's annoying. <laughs> That's, he's annoying. Um, what about the Venture Brothers, which is sort of based on all those kind of 
Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Dude, cool. Yeah. Good save. Yeah. Good save. A lot of, like, self, so, selfish Dr. characters. Venture. Yeah, Dr. Venture. Yeah, yeah. So... Rusty Venture. I like him. Yeah, I like him. Um... I don't know where to go with this. I like I like characters. So, okay, <laughs> just do. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Doctor Venture, uh, Brock, who is the the bodyguard, who is an absolute dick. But you know, I have a man crush on that guy. He's fucking awesome. <laughs> but, <laughs> <laughs> he is handsome. He's I think fantastic. though he's also. I wouldn't call him a flat out dick. I mean for the boys, he's really good for the boys. For for the um, uh Dr. Venture's sons. He's kind of almost like a role model in a sense. Yeah. And he, he tries to look out for them. Yeah. Yeah, so like with that and then I mean the rest that you see of him, like his job is protecting them, so he beats the shit out of people. Like that's it's just kind of his it's what he does. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But uh, oh, uh yeah, guy, he, the monarch guy. Oh, the monarch. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. monarch. Um, who is a, a bastard, but is strangely attractive. Even so, he's he's like the uh, the other version of um, a Rusty, isn't he? Really, he's like the other side of the. Yeah, game. yeah, very much sympathetic so. in a sense. Like the nemesis, as Tant said from our p- uh, post the other day. Mm. Yeah. Like you almost want to see him. Like he's a he's a jerk, but you still almost want to see him succeed now and then. Like you just you root for him a little bit because he's just you so do. off kilter. Like he just tries so hard, man. He tries so hard, <laughs> and he's suffer deep down. Like he's suffering. Doctor Venture too. They're very similar characters. It's yeah, like, come on, you want to see them sort of figure it out somehow and <laughs> do it, be better. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you want them to be friends, but that's never gonna happen. <laughs> Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? <laughs> <laughs> so, oh. yeah, the the Venture Brothers a great example. Um, I can't really think of any others right off the top of my head. Although you know, I've been consuming a hell of a lot of American pop culture. Um, Cartman is a villain hero. Oh, Cartman! Usually, oh yeah, in South Park. He's, he's a monster. Him. <laughs> that show terrible. would suck without him. Yeah, he's horrifying. Yeah, yeah. but you, and, you and he'll watch be, him still though. You do. He's yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but and he is the protagonist of many shows. Like he'll go on this like he'll set out to destroy that kid's life, kills his parents. <laughs> what was that? Remember that? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just like it feeds them to it. Yeah. How do you like your chili? <laughs> <laughs> That's right, yeah. It's like, oh my god. It's horrible. But yet he was the hero of that episode. It's crazy. It's <laughs> hyperbolically evil. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And he's just I love how like even his friends hate him, but they always <laughs> just hang out with him just because like he's always he has to be there, man. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> See, he is a, um, an amazing example of an evil character. But yeah. <laughs> purely evil. Um, so what about what, it's characters that aren't, that, that are like hero evil characters? Um, Jake in Adventure Time, who's, who's this nice character, he's this little, you know, dog with magical powers, but gets more evil as you know there's just hints of it that shows you know he he wasn't a nice guy he used to actually be um like a a bank robber and uh a criminal at one stage apparently in his past oh Mm. and the the ice king which is a fantastic character he's he's this evil he's he's the the um the bad guy initially in the show but he redeems himself in all sorts of weird ways and eventually becomes even though he's he's such um a bad guy. He still wants to uh, kidnap princesses and force them to marry him. <laughs> it's just, just he keeps <laughs> them locked in in a jail until they uh, agree to marry him. You know, he's just totally bad that way. But what's uh, what's wrong with that? I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> we can all relate to that. 
but he does he does <laughs> redeem himself in in various ways you know you learn more about his past and stuff so he's a really likable bad guy um a likable jerk and but he keeps on even though he redeems himself he always goes back to being a jerk you know and just doing dickish things right smashing people's yeah. stuff and just a lot of the I'm anime sure i've seen it. yeah right a lot of the anime, like, I haven't seen much, but uh, most of what I've seen, I end up hating the heroes. Like, <laughs> yeah. Hating. I'm just like, you're so yeah. selfish. Like, you suck. And, like, enough that I stop watching. It's like, I don't, because you, you're supposed to like them, and there's no other hero really to switch to, to enjoy the show. Uh, you're supposed to be on their side. It's like the Sam Malone thing that uh, you were saying. Like, uh, I'm thinking of an example. So there's a, it's one of the high school ones, and um, this alien. Oh, oh, that narrows it down. <laughs> so yeah, you know the one. <laughs> you, you've seen that one. Yeah, I remember they're that. Not, yeah, they're wearing school uniforms and stuff. Well, yeah, then you know it. <laughs> <laughs> but a lot of them, like the the selfishness and not caring about their friends at all, in a sort of like want to be sweet kind of tone that you're supposed to that's supposed to be there, like. Uh, I'm trying to think of a good example. I'm sorry. It's okay. Oh yes, it was um, to love you, to <laughs> love you. <laughs> so everybody, everybody loves this one, this one guy, and uh, it, but in one episode, like an, an alien ship lands, and there's this wolf woman who one of the other students you've never seen before saves her life or something like that, and so she wants him, she wants him to come back with her and her son. And, and marry her or something like that. And he's terrified because he doesn't want to go, but he doesn't want to... I, I don't remember why. He doesn't just say no, probably because he's Japanese. But uh, he's like... He's... um, <laughs> Sorry. I'm always pausing for the laugh. Even if it <laughs> <laughs> right? But... Uh, so he... All he wants... All he wants is for one of the girls in the school, the dozen girls, to pretend just to say she's his girlfriend so he has an excuse and none of them will do it they're like I do high jinx oh he didn't get one okay <laughs> i missed that i'm sorry to, to be, never mind i was trying to be witty and then and then you said that he didn't get any of them so i i, I changed my mind cuz it wouldn't have been so. oh high jinx and so i see what you're saying yes no no high jinx if he was the protagonist it would have been high jinx probably but this guy was like, all he wanted was just like, say, you're my girlfriend. Just say it. You don't have to do anything. And they're all like, no. They all flat out refuse. And uh, I was done. After that, I was like, I hate every single one of you people. Like, you're, you're, you're dicks. He meets the anime characters, not the Japanese. He doesn't, right? You don't Real need, Japanese you don't people Japan. I am a, I'm a great <laughs> fan of. <laughs> yes, I was done with the, con- with the country after that. <laughs> <laughs> that was stupid of me to say. I no, no, I no, no. I, I thought you were being funny too. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, you saved it, saved it. But that was it. Oh, uh, there was another one uh, where like the whole school is under attack. But the two girls who are fighting over the lead, all they do is like run away with him and hide in part of the school where the entire like then the rest of the school is like destroyed by these creatures that are attacking. And uh, I was just, it just makes you sick, man. <laughs> just, I was like, it I'm just sorry. makes you sick, man. It, just it does. It does. Yeah. So that's it. That's what you know. That's the other side of that coin, where like villains you love versus like heroes you hate. I guess that's yeah. the, point, the point we're making. I like yeah. that. There's villains you love versus heroes you hate. I'm gonna write that down. <laughs> At the end of the episode, we finally know what it's about. <laughs> Good job, everybody. Good job. Okay. Tanya, Tanya fucking tapped out of here long ago. I know. She, she... Screw these assholes. <laughs> <laughs> she is our Cartman, basically. Now she's plotting to kill our families. <laughs> she's like, I'm going here. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's sitting in a room screw now guys. going, yeah, screw you guys, screw those guys. <laughs> they think they're better than me, I'm going to teach them. <laughs> Respect my authority. <laughs> you don't want to cross tans. No how, no way. Oh no, no sir. 
Jeez, that's that's bad. That's bad. The so, shorter a person is, the less you want to fuck with them. <laughs> they got that Napoleon thing going on. <laughs> oh God, I wonder if she's gonna listen to this. Oh, I'm not trying to be mean. <laughs> Oh no! Now, now Pitt's being the jerk of the quack cast. It's changing. <laughs> oh, that's no change. That's no change. <laughs> it is. It is the way since the dawn of time, and so it shall remain until the end of time. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. We've we've sorted out the the personalities. Isn't that that's another thing? I would like to do a quack cast on that, like um, a on ensemble cast of characters and you slot one character into being the jerk one character into be like the into the know-it-all i don't know maybe mm. i can do that <laughs> well baines and i can find out that title. um <laughs> the, the funny guy which is baines obviously me um, i don't know anything i think you win that well you're, you're the funny guy and uh Tar- oh, Tarns, which is a quite genius and pit face which is a lovable jerk and yeah i can there you go. <laughs> so we've got two jerks on the show like we get see we're better than all the other shows because then we overcompensate with our jerk though <laughs> we overcompensate massively for our deficiencies yes. <laughs> like my <right there. laughs> and our tiny hands <laughs> and Gun Wallace is the quiet one. Yeah, he's so quiet. Yeah, yeah we just hear his music. Hello. Hi. Hello. <laughs> yes, it's you I'm looking is for. Isn't me you're looking for? Yeah. <laughs> it, is, it is, it is you. <laughs> All right, man. That's the episode, right? It is. Go oh, home. I don't care where you go, but you can't stay here. <laughs> that, that's, that's been an in, interesting episode um, of jerky, jerky characters, and I hope I've, we've inspired you in your pursuit of more jerkiness in future parts to your um, news post series on jerks. Yes, on... or just be a jerk in general. Just go out, be a jerk today. Yeah. Kick a puppy. <laughs> Kick a puppy or two. Yeah. Kick the, puppy. Kick the puppy. The oh. spirit of the season. Oh, before we end, that's just that's brought to my, my mind when a terrible, terrible character who's meant to be lovable and cute. Have you ever seen um, the show about dinosaurs? It was a sitcom. With, uh, I remember that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And there was a baby dinosaur that would say, Not the yeah. mama! Not the mama! Not the mama! Mama, I remember that. Oh god, I hated that. Oh, character. I used to love that show. Oh, well, I was a baby myself, so I loved the little baby. <laughs> well, what's I it loved all the dinosaurs because dinosaurs are my people. No, I will not ruin the the fantasy. Oh no, you you'll myself. get so much more out of it. It's a very clever show. It's a it's a good show. There, there's even uh, someone's posted a um a thing showing that uh, Donald Trump. And the the boss character from uh, that dinosaur show are the same person. <laughs> they are the same guy. It's a girl. This, this dinosaur's going. We got to build a wall to keep the four legs out and various things. We got to make this country great. It's, it's cool. All right, then. This has been a fantastic crack house. Thank you guys very much for being along. And Baines, thank you for being the funny guy and giving us that um, the idea for it. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Pitt, for being the jerk. Lovable jerk as always. Anytime. Anytime. And uh, thank you to Todd Serene, our, our, um, our uh, absent friends. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Two absent friends. Oh, okay. Oh. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. I should have just been like this the whole quack cast and seen like if you could use like how you decide to use my face in the the photo and just leave it like this. <laughs> <Kill one. laughs>